Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabat of Allah continue on in our lesson in a hadith uh, regarding uh, purification and salat We reach the hadith of uh, Humran An Humran Mawla Uthman ibn Affan Radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma Anhu ra'a Uthman da'a uh, da'a bi wudu فأفرغ على يديه من إنائه فغزلهما ثلاث مرات ثم أدخل يمينه في الوضوء ثم تمضمض واستنشق واستنثر ثم غزل وجهه ثلاثا ويديه إلى مرفقين ثلاثا ثم مسح برأسه ثم غزل كلتا رجليه ثلاثا ثم قال رأيت نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يتوضأ نحو وضوئي هذا وقال من توضأ نحو وضوئي هذا ثم صلى ركعتين لا يحدث فيهما نفسه غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبي This is a hadith عظيم in Bukhari and Muslim <coughs> The hadith of uh, Humran uh, who was the freed slave of uh, Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and he said I saw Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu ask for a, a water container to make wudu and then he uh, you know poured water on his hands from the container uh, then he washed and he washed his hands three times okay with this water that was being poured then he put his, his right hand into the the water container. Then he made uh, he washed his mouth and his nose and blew it out. Then he washed his face three times and his hands to his uh, elbow three times. Then he wiped his head, okay. Uh, then he washed his feet, uh, both of his feet, three times. And then he said, I saw the Prophet وسلم, making wudu like this wudu. And then he said, Whoever makes wudu like my wudu. So he said he saw the Prophet doing this, and then the Prophet said, Whoever makes wudu like my wudu, like this wudu, and then prays two rakat, two units of prayer, and doesn't speak to himself, la yuhadithu fihim anafsuhu, meaning he doesn't have like waswas, -was. he doesn't allow things to interfere with his prayer, he's focused on his prayer. That uh, then all of his sins that preceded will be forgiven. And the scholars mentioned about these kind of ahadith. Except those sins which require toba, meaning the ma the maining the major sins, except for those major sins. Okay, so that means the minor sins will be forgiven. So this hadith is alim, and the hadith that follows it, but we won't read that; it's a bit longer. But both of these ahadith they show kafiyat wudu. These are the most detailed ahadith about how to make wudu, illustrating the wudu. Okay, that's one of the important uh, things with this hadith. And, uh, you know, that Uthman, that he observed how the Prophet and, and related how the Prophet وسلم, made wudu. Uh, something else important about this hadith is this hadith shows us the importance also of one of the ways of teaching is by action, by example. So here he called for this water container to be brought and then he illustrated and, and told, illustrated by action, by showing exactly how to make wudu. So that's an excellent way to teach people in that some people, many people are more visual learners than listeners. Listening is, is much harder to detail, but when you see someone do it, learning how to make wudu, learning how to do whatever, it's it's one of the beneficial ways of ta'lim. And it's part of how the Prophet ﷺ did it, as well as the the Salaf al-Saleh. 
Another benefit of this hadith is this hadith shows us that you can, uh, the importance of delivering knowledge by state, by, uh, through speaking and through action. Another benefit of this hadith is this hadith also shows us uh, what we learn from this hadith is that it is recommended to wash the hands three times before you enter them into the ina. Before you enter them in a water container. So Uthman, he asked for this container. And then he he used something, a vessel to wash his hands outside the container. Then he stuck his hands in the container. So that was like cleaning the hands first. And that's why it's, you know, sunnah to do that, to wash your hands before you actually make the wudu. That hand washing is sunnah. It's not obligatory. So washing that hands, those hands initially is a way of cleansing the hands before you perform the obligatory actions of wudu. And this is what we see from Uthman radiallahu ta'ala. And, and especially because in their time, what was more common and what's common in many places in many poor countries or, or places where water is restricted is people just have water containers in many places. Uh, not don't Not everyone has the the uh, blessings of having sinks and showers and things like this. So this uh, shows us that what is very common. This also shows that it is legislated to make, uh, you know, clean the mouth and the nose before, uh, and that the nose and that this is a part of the face. Okay, this is a part of washing the face. And then the other benefits, which we've talked about uh, in our uh, other lessons. Uh, in the next hadith on Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, قالت كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يعجبه التيمن في تنعله وترجله وطهوره وفي شأنه وفي شأنه كله. In the next hadith, the hadith of, in Sahih Muslim in, Buk uh, in Muslim in Bukhari, in Bukhari and Muslim, the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, and she said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم used to love to begin with the right hands when he would uh, make, uh, uh, he, he would use the right for, for combing his hair for, uh, and, and for, uh, you know, putting on his shoe and also in beginning tahara, okay, in beginning to make wudu, the right hand, the right side first. And all of his affairs, meaning all the affairs which are the affairs that are honorable affairs, if you will. You know, beginning the tahara and stuff. But when it's something that has to do with the opposite, for example, we clean ourselves with the left. We enter the bathroom with the left. Okay? We leave the bathroom with the right. That's the sunnah. So it shows us that those things which have uh, takreem, you know, those things which are are honorable and respectable things, if you will, and the things that are good, we begin with the right. And the things in which are, um, you know, more negative, if you will, or dealing with uh, cleaning ourselves and stuff like this, our private parts and things like this, we use the left, you know, or, or entering the bathroom and, and things like this. Uh, and so that shows us the importance of the right. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And until our next sitting, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.